These are some of the most useful 3D prints. So coming in at number five is this triangle shape. So now this this actually has a purpose surprisingly. So you know when you have the super low tube toothpaste and you try to squeeze them out and you can't get it out? Use this. Stick it in there. And go like that. Now you have no toothpaste over here. And all the toothpaste you need over here. So you can just squeeze it all out. Nice. So going to number two here, we got this, what was supposed to be a ratchet screwdriver. So you know, you turn it, go, mm, click, 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 mm, click, you know what I mean, I think, you should. But, we got this screw, this here, and now it's just a handle for the screw tip. It's better than just this, right? It's not what it's supposed to be, but it works pretty good. There we go. So next up, I got this jumble of parts here. And this makes an X-Acto knife. It's really cool. So you take a razor blade, and this current is... There's the little notch here, and there's a hole here for a screw. And so you put the razor blade right there. And as you can see, the front notch is, is there, and the other notch is for the screw, which is really cool. Okay, and you take this piece, you put it, see, it's a little curved right here. You put it in there, click it down, there we go. Take the screw, you put it in on the other side, screw it in there, and I'm going to use this to screw it down. There we go. And to show how useful this is, got a piece of paper. And watch this, watch. Literally lay your knife on top. Just glide it over. And you've got a cut. And Clean. You can super it's a nice tip. You can do little boxes here, whatever you want. Whatever you want to do. Like that. Super chart. On to the next thing. So the next 3D printed item is this pink circle thing that looks like it has no purpose at all. Because like this it doesn't really. But if you open it up, it's just like this. Voila. Well, well. It's a micro SD card holder. So you can fit a total of a lot of micro SD cards in there. Uh, <laughs> um, but as you can see, there's just one slip for each of them. I don't really have any micro SD cards laying around, so don't really need this, but it's really useful if you do. Um, and I think like the screw is so perfect. I don't know if I've ever printed a screw this way. This next one, I've done a video on before, but this time it's 3D printed instead of what it used to be. It's a phone speaker, so I don't know if you remember my video on this one. It's a little big for the screen. Put your phone in here and it amplifies out here. You can go watch that video to see how I made this and how much louder it makes the phone. It's awesome, I think. You guys should totally make one. But I 3D printed one this time. So you put your phone in here and it amplifies it, boom, out of there. So, I don't have an extra phone to show you this with, because I'm recording with my phone. And nobody else in my house is around. Oh well. But, you got, you guys got my word for it. This thing is so cool. It's pretty awesome. If you have a 3D printer, I definitely recommend printing this. Or this. If you don't have an X-Acto knife. I have an X-Acto knife, but I lost it. So, this is going to be handy. I think these are my top two. I really like these. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I'll have all of these prints down in the description below. I'll have the link to Thingiverse because these are all Thingiverse. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.